I'm Ralph Grizzle, the avid cruiser. For more than two decades, I've cruised the seven seas on some of the world's most luxurious ships. I write about my experiences on avidcruiser.com. My goal is to help people like you make informed decisions about your cruise vacations. Join me today in an exciting new mini-series as I explore the most popular cruise destinations around the world. My name is Ralph Grizzle, and I am the Avid Cruiser. Today we're in Corfu and we're on a quest. We're searching for a special liqueur that's cultivated from the fruit found here on the island. Before we begin that quest, we're gonna do some fun things. We're gonna go mountain biking in beautiful countryside, we're gonna go off-roading in Jeeps, and we're gonna visit a gorgeous villa. We're also gonna spend some time visiting the UNESCO-designated old town of Corfu itself. We've got a lot to do, so let's get going. It wasn't the Greeks, but the Venetians who built the old fortress. The historian Will Durant claimed that thanks to the Republic of Venice, Corfu was one of the few parts of Greece never conquered by the Ottomans. The Venetians occupied Corfu for nearly four centuries, and they left their influences behind. Today, Corfu feels almost as much Italian as it does Greek, notable in the dialect, the cuisine, and some of the architecture. The French and the British were here too, and what you have today is an island where the legacy is a mix of cultures, all overlaid on the best of Greek culture. I had heard about Corfu's kumquat liqueur and I wanted to see what it was all about. It was a fun sort of quest because I got to explore the streets of the old city. I found an inviting store that could never be mistaken for anything other than one that deals in kumquat. And so I stepped inside to discover why this odd little fruit was so important to Corfu culture. Now, this was brought here by the Chinese, I learned, and uh, the, uh, the people from Corfu, they cultivated this and made the liqueur from it. Yeah, so I'm gonna try this. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's good, it's not too bitter at all. It's a little bit of a sweet taste. It's kind of jellied. It's almost like a, a, a jelly bean. Yeah with something in the center that squirts. <laughs> What's famous here, primarily, is the kumquat liqueur. And it comes in these beautiful bottles, and I'm gonna taste some in just a moment. This is the shape of Corfu, and this one is the shape of a cello. Is the cello popular here? Why? It is because we had the, the band start here, so that's why it's traditional, and this one, and this one that we used to carry water in. Yeah, this is one of the more popular ones. It's shaped like a vase, and actually these are Similar shapes of uh, these vases are thrown from the balconies here, I guess, yes. on Easter. On Easter. Yeah, it's interesting. Very orangey, uh, you can probably see that. Well, it tastes a little bit like cough syrup. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually very good. Well, this is something that I think everybody should try. The great thing about it is that you can stop in almost any of these shops in Corfu and uh, they'll give you a free sample. And if you like it, you take back a bottle. And if you don't, well, you know, at least you tried it. And I'm going to take the last sip and say, cheers. <laughs> mm, I think I'll take a bottle. Okay. <laughs> It's a beautiful day in Corfu, and what better way to explore the countryside and get your heart pumping than on a mountain bike? And I found some friends to do that with me. Ready? Let's do it! There are a few things in life that can beat biking with friends, whether old ones or new ones. And when the weather is good, as it always seems to be in Corfu, and you add that gorgeous landscape into the mix, you have a day that feels like, well, like you're pedaling through paradise. Indeed, that's how I felt as we pedaled well-maintained bikes along roads without a lot of traffic. We cycled up and down easy rolling hills, stopping as often as needed for refreshments and to admire the views and to learn something about Corfu's countryside. This was a really fun way to spend a day and to meet new people who enjoyed being outdoors and getting a little exercise and seeing a lot of beauty.
Well, this is an exhilarating way to see Corfu. I've got the top down, I've got my hand on the gear stick, and I'm ready to roll on a Jeep Safari in Corfu. I grabbed the steering wheel with my right hand and the gear shifter with my left to set off for a drive like I had never experienced before. Behind the wheel of a 4x4, I passed through some of Corfu's most charming villages, sometimes along roads that didn't seem a lot like roads. With the top down, it was fun to maneuver the 4x4 around the hairpin turns and along beautiful narrow roads. We were headed up to one of the highest points on the island of Corfu, and along the way, there were some beautiful views of the scenery below. We turned off the highway for an exhilarating ride along the off-roads of Corfu. We rolled along gravel roads through beautiful olive groves to see a part of Corfu that few others ever see. This beautiful villa and gardens was the home to Empress Elizabeth of Austria. Now you may know her as Empress Sissi. She had the Achaeleon Palace built in 1890 and it reflects her love of the Greek god Achilles. You'll see sculptures and paintings of him throughout the gardens and the villa itself. Elizabeth Amelie Eugenie was the Empress of Austria. Known as Sissi, she was assassinated by an Italian anarchist in Geneva, Switzerland in 1898. Before her death, she built the beautiful palace that reflected her admiration of Achilles. Achilles was the hero of the Trojan War and the central character in Homer's Iliad. With its gorgeous gardens and terraces, Achilleon Palace is a sight to behold outside. Stepping inside, however, reveals another story. Designed in neoclassical style by her Italian architect, the villa was purchased by Kaiser Wilhelm II following Sissi's death. The villa and its gardens provide a rare glimpse into the privileged lifestyle of turn of the 20th century European rulers. Sissy's admiration of Achilles can be seen throughout the palace. Her lasting legacy here in Corfu remains beautifully intact as a tribute to a Greek god. We had a great time in Corfu. We participated in some active shore excursions, mountain biking and four-wheel off-roading. We visited a beautiful palace and wandered the UNESCO-designated old town of Corfu itself. And we found the Kumquat liqueur. We sampled and enjoyed that. I'm Ralph Grizzle, and I'll see you in the next beautiful destination.